Now then, it's only about a dozen miles down there or something, but it's going to take maybe half an hour, depending on the traffic. I'm going to come down, have a good time. Remember, please, if you're trying to pick up the Forget Monty Don, forget Joe Swift, and forget Carol Klein. In fact, forget everything they've ever told you. For a start, it's nearly half an hour's walk from the coach park to the gardens. Everyone seems enthusiastic, and that's why we're all here. What you're about to see is the true story behind the 2013 Hampton Court Flower Show. I have my ticket in my hand, and I'm ready to go inside. Well, right, not inside. I meant inside the perimeter. I'm pleased to say, although the crowds are huge, there is no queue going through the entrance. On the inside, it's a different story. It feels like I'm surrounded by six million people. Hey, I am surrounded by six million people. Yes, it seems the whole population of London has decided to turn up here on the last day of the show. I've never seen so many cameras used in one place as here. From the pro high resolution types all the way up to the poke and shoot free with a box of cornflakes models. For some people, the enjoyment begins by giving these flowers a good sniff. Others just like to look. Please don't ask me what this is. I haven't got a clue. Now I'm no Jonathan Meads, but I'm sure this should be in an art gallery and not a garden. If you're minted, you might consider this type of gazebo. It'll set you back the price of a small car, but I imagine if you can afford this gazebo, then you already own that small car. There are loads of places to eat, but when you examine the menus, you'll wish you'd carried your own supplies in, even in this weather. And the catering companies know that we're all prisoners here. Half a pint of Pims will set you back six pounds, and half a litre of Highland Spring will cost you two pounds 10. That's £4.20 a litre. Slightly more than unleaded or diesel. You'll need £4 for a small bag of chips and £7 if you want a bit of fish to go with it. I can't tell you how much the champagne was because I stayed with the Evian. The show gardens are all smaller than you think they are. On television they look enormous, but they're really not. This is not a disappointment but it shows you can change some of these great ideas and use them in your own personal way. Of course, some of them, I think you'll agree, are more suited to an art gallery installation than a garden. As I said earlier, I'm no Jonathan Meads, so what do I know? A camera would be sufficient, but some people have to show off their latest gadgets. Here are a few more weird and bizarre schemes. Do you really want a pile of old fridges or a man in a gas mask sitting in your garden? So that's it. Six hours have passed by and I've hardly noticed it. I've had a wonderful time. Would I come here again next year? Certainly. Although it's five o'clock, it's still very hot, and I'm in need of a cold drink. In a few moments, my husband will open a thermos of ice-cold vodka, and I know very well that on this very hot day, his will undoubtedly be a large one. <laughs> 